Answer the question based on the following data which provides the information about number of seats won by three political parties in two different assemblies. That is Rajasthan A and Uttar Pradesh B. Number of seats in Rajasthan assembly is 320 and number of seats in Uttar Pradesh, uh, Uttar Pradesh assembly is 400. So basically we have got two assemblies, assembly A and assembly B which is Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh respectively. The number of seats are uh, 320 and 400, right? Now, the diagram here shows the number of seats uh, won by, right, number of seats won by three political parties. What are the three political parties? The first front, right, the second front and the third front. And you can see that in this triangular diagram, you have A and B plotted somewhere. So A is this and B is this. Now, how do you interpret the data? I think the whole challenge in this question or series of questions is interpretation of the data. Once you interpret the data, answering these questions would become very easy. Right? How do you analyze the data is the question. How do you basically extract the values? It's, it's very simple. Let me explain you how to do this. So basically, there are two political parties, A and B. And there are, sorry, there are two assemblies, A and B, and there are three political parties. The first front, second front, and the third front. Right? How many seats has A got? 320. How many seats has B got? 400. Now, see how do we... Uh, find the values here. Now look at A. See, if you observe, if you observe this axis, right, this axis for the first friend shows the values of first friend, the percentage values for first friend, 25%, 50%, 75%. So this would be 100 percentage for first friend. This is zero percentage for first friend. Similarly, this axis here from top to bottom shows the percentage values for second front, 25%, 50%, 75%. This is 100 percentage. This is zero percentage for second front. And this, of course, for the third front, 25, 50, and 75. Now, look at A. A, if you observe, is on this straight line representing 50. This point A is on the straight line, which is 50. This 50 percentage for what? First front. So first front A is 50 percent, remember. Total is 100 percentage, right? Assembly A, 100 percentage has to be divided between first front, second front, third front. Similarly, assembly B is 100 percentage seats. 400 seats have to be divided between first, second and third fronts. How do you do that? Simply. So we have already found that A, which lies on the straight line, represents 50 percentage of seats for first front. Now, look at second front. For second front, if you observe, I have to draw a dotted line like this, which which has to cross A basically. It should be it should be parallel to this 25% line, 50% line, 75% line, right? All these 25, 50, 75, this slant lines indicate second front. It should pass via A. Now, if you observe, this is between 25% and 50%. This line is exactly between 25% and 50%. What comes exactly between 25 and 50%? 37.5%. So, this is 37.5%. So, if this is 50, this is 37.5, obviously, the third front should be 12.5%. Yes or no? If this is 50%, this is 37.5%, obviously, the third front will be 12.5%. Because total should be 100%. If you want, you can verify. Third front, try to plot a line. See, these are the lines indicating third front, right? these lines indicate third front lines right these slant lines so try to draw a line passing through point a i told you this is zero percentage for third front so between zero percentage and 25 percentage this falls exactly between that right 12.5 that's what we've got here that's it you know the values so 50 percentage of 320 160 37.5% of 320, 37.5 is 3 by 8, 3 by 8 of 320. So 320 by 8 is 40, 3 times of that is 120. This should be 40. 12.5 is 1 8. 1 8 of 320 is 40. 40. So 160, 120 and 40. These are the numbers. 160 plus 120 is 280, 280 plus 40 is 320. Done. So we know the values of first, second and third fronts for assembly A. Do the same thing for assembly B and you are through. I indicate percentages on top half and the real values on the bottom half. How do you do that? B is here. Look at first front. For first front, if I have to draw a line from first front, it, it is it is between 50 and 20. I mean, it is between 25 and 50. How much will that be? 37.5. So this is 37.5 percentage. Similarly, for second front, if I have to draw a line for B, 
you see it is exactly 25 percentage b is here right exactly 25 percentage this line itself like how exactly 50 percentage was there for first front assembly a assembly b second front is 25 percentage so this is 25 percentage and you are done third one is known to you if this is 37.5 this is 25 this has to be 12.5 No, sorry, this has to be 37.5 again. Sorry, 37.5, 25. This should be 37.5. Yes, I know. 37.5, 37.5, 75, 75, and 25 100. If you want, you can verify. Third front B. See, this is 50 in this trick. Draw this line. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm drawing the wrong line. I should not be drawing. On this line, it should be parallel to the other lines of third front so these are the lines of third front right 25 percentage 50 percentage so draw a line you see this is passing through b between 25 and 50 37.5 now fill the values 37.5 3 8th of 400 1 8th of 400 is 50 3 8 will be 150 if this is 150 this also will be 150 150 and 150 is 300 so this should be 100 done you now know the numbers You getting it that's it and and of course you should know that 12.5 37.5 all these are you know 3 by 8 1 by 8 respectively for you to be able to answer these questions now answer the questions what is the difference between number of seats one by first front in rajasthan and uttar pradesh first front in rajasthan 160 uttar pradesh 150 what's the difference 10 option a is your answer yes or no first front difference of two assemblies 160 and 150 10 what is the total number of seats one by third front Total of 1 by 3rd front in Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. Total of 3rd front, 40 and 150. 3rd front is 40 in this assembly, 150 in this assembly. How much is the total? 190. So option B is the answer. In Rajasthan, what is the difference in the number of seats won by the party which won the highest number of seats over the party which won the second highest number of seats? Which is Rajasthan? A is Rajasthan. So he's asking us to find out the difference. Difference of what? Highest and second highest. So for Rajasthan, the highest is 160. Second highest is 120. What's the difference? 40. And that's your answer. Highest for Rajasthan is 160. Second highest is 120. Difference is 40. What is the difference? This time again difference. Between total seats won by first front and second front in both the states together. Difference of total seats of first front and total seats of second front in both the states. So total of first front in both the states is what? 310. Total of second front in both the states is how much? 220. What's the difference? 90. Option D is the answer. <laughs> 